let's recreate some vacation outfits. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Shakura and I believe that when you feel good, you look good. So on this channel, I show you how to take fashion and use it as a tool to help you look and feel your best. I was supposed to shoot and edit this video a long time ago and I'm sure a lot of you have already been on vacation. <laughs> so I am so sorry. I for one won't be leaving the country probably until the fall, boo, but it is what it is. And I was recently looking for some outfits for our upcoming vacation in the fall. And I thought, oh shoot, I was supposed to make a video about this. It totally slipped my mind. So the first outfit we're gonna talk about is good for a city vacation. If you are going to a warm city where you are doing a lot of walking, you don't wanna be wearing much, you don't necessarily wanna wear a dress, wanna kinda look put together, I think this is a really good option. If we're going to say Rome or Milan or New York City, this is probably something I would wear. In fact, there are tons of people wearing this exact outfit here in New York City. However, they have, instead of wearing these sandals, which a lot of people do, they wear sneakers instead. I am a born and raised New Yorker, and I'm just gonna tell you, if you come here to visit and you're doing a lot of walking, sneakers are optimal, okay? <laughs> I know you wanna be cute and wear your beautiful sandals, but it's not the cleanest city and your feet will hurt. Oftentimes I see tourists here and they're wearing heels and they're walking around. It's not a good idea. Wear sneakers, okay? <laughs> so there are actually so many options and variations of this outfit. This is like Dish have something very similar. I believe the one from Dish is probably linen, so it, it's cooler than a layered cotton look. This whole outfit from Dillard's, which is very similar to the Inspiration outfit. If you're looking for some different variety, if you're looking for pants or different color, Mango has a beautiful option. If you don't want shorts, you don't want pants, this skirt best set from Revolve is another great option. I even love that it comes in a beautiful, rich color. And if you are in need of extended sizes and you still want this look, these two from Eloquy are so good. This dress from New York and Company gives a very similar vibe. And this whole look from Forever 21 is stunning. Paired with some little cute sandals, so good. And look at this purple option. I know some people are like in love with purple. So for some reason, folks that love purple, like love purple. <laughs> but I thought that was a very, very cute option. And of course she is wearing a mini Kelly, which we all love and adore and know that it costs a pretty penny. At this point, we know that you don't have to have that kind of money to have a similar look. You could try bags from Teddy Blake. I recently saw a beautiful Marc Jacob bag that gives you a very similar look, so cute. And Charles and Keith is always a good place to look for bags that are affordable. And depending on how you feel about this brand, I know some people detest it, other people have no problem with it, but Lillian Bean has a very similar bag to the Mini Kelly. And I am so tired of telling y'all about the Hermes sandals dupes from Steve Madden. We know already. If you want this exact look, but a much cheaper option, we all know that Brother Steve is the way to go. However, if I was coming here or Rome or, or some other walkable city, I would choose a canvas shoe, a comfortable sneaker. I know some people would want a chalkier sneaker, but for me and my style and this outfit, I want something a little more streamlined and a little lighter. So I have been talking up these types of outfits since the spring. They are so easy breezy. I feel like this could be used for both a vacation in the city and on the beach as a cover up for your bathing suit, right? And just wear your top open. I think it's a very good look. This particular outfit though is four or $500. I don't remember the exact price. It's a beautiful outfit. It might be worth it, but I also realize that it's not within everybody's budget, right? I have talked at nauseam about Dish and it's because they have some good options. I've showed you a few before, I'm gonna show it to you again, but there is this one that I think is absolutely stunning. I think this is even great into fall with some boots and a blazer. This can be used in so many ways. In the office, 
on a city vacation. I've showed you this before and it's funny because they even call it the vacation shirt. I love the option for this in a short set because sometimes only shorts will do. And I've showed you these before. This option is short sleeve and super laid back. I love it. And if you are in need of extended sizes, this color combination is just beautiful. I love the stripes. I love the pattern. I love that they put blue and white and brown and, and black together. This is such a good outfit. and color and how laid back this outfit actually is is so good it's beautiful the color is stunning the way that she just laid out on the step hair free is just stunning and while i couldn't find a dress that was very much like this and that i felt comfortable showing you i did find some really beautiful jumpsuits that give a very similar vibe this one from asos is absolutely stunning it's a similar color it's a similar fabric you get a very similar vibe especially if you style it similarly if you prefer a lighter color like a lavender it also comes in this color and if purple is just not your thing look at this beautiful green option now hair is where it gets a bit tricky for me and i would love to know your opinion i would not normally take this color purple and pair it with brown not that anything necessarily wrong with it as far as color theory goes kind of but i just wouldn't put that together she did pair it with some brown wedges and there are many options for that i'm sure they're on the screen right now and i'm wondering if i were to have styled this for her if something like this would have matched a little better I don't think she looks bad at all and honestly who cares what I think because she's the one wearing it and if she loves it I love it too but I'm just wondering how I would have styled it differently maybe a lighter brown shoe or beige let me know what you think I don't think I would have done black I could have done a colorful shoe let me know what you think and as far as bags we know there are so many options I recently found this one from Max Mara that is on a very good sale. It was originally $635. It is on sale for $254, a very good price. If you don't mind a little branding, this one from Bloomingdale's and this one from Zara will both give you a very similar vibe. have tried on my share of bucket hats and you guys I don't know maybe I'm not cool enough <laughs> everyone started wearing bucket hats again I was shocked okay I'm an 80s baby a 90s kid I've been through the bucket hat phase in fact when I saw my niece wear a bucket hat I was I, I was shocked because I couldn't believe we were doing it again right but I've seen some really cool looking people style the mess out of a bucket hat. It just does not work for me. And these people are like my age. They're elder millennials. <laughs> They're elder millennials, young Gen X, and they are making it work. But for some reason, when I try on a bucket hat, I look like I'm trying to be young and I'm not, I, I had nothing to do with my 20s again. I was broke. <laughs> I much prefer where I am now, okay? And honestly, I don't mind looking my age. I just want to look like a youthful older millennial, <laughs> right? I don't, I don't want to look like I'm in my 20s. So for some reason, that's how it translates on me. And it's devastating because I don't understand how it looks so cool on everybody else. My point is, if you can pull off a bucket hat, this is a great look on vacation when you're going to the pool. And it's so simple, right? I actually love that she put pink and white and blue together. It's so good. I love those colors together. And an oversized blue button down top is not hard to find. This one from H&M and this one from Old Navy will give you a very similar look. Just buy it bigger if you need to. And there are pink bucket hats everywhere. Madewell Ghani Anthropology 
because Old Navy, they are everywhere. He has on the Hermes Orion sandals. We know what the dupe for that is. And if I were to recreate this for my style on vacation, I would more likely do a fuchsia um, RB hat, right? Maybe the one in the cotton. I know they have it in this beautiful straw color that I've talked about before. I would do that as opposed to the bucket hat because it's still youthful, but I don't look like an elder millennial trying to look like 20 year olds for me. <laughs> so that would be my option. And she's holding a very chic Christian Dior vanity case. And these three from Kate Spade are a fabulous option if you don't want to spend money on the Dior one, even though I think it's fabulous. I don't know who this fabulous lady is, but she is living her best life. And an orange bathing suit is so easy to find. Even if you need extended sizes, ASOS, Eloquy, Target, and Good American all have options that go up to, I believe, a 4X. And the star of the show is this beautiful sheer cover-up. This one from Amazon is so fabulous and will work well with any of those suits I just showed you. This from All Saints can not only be worn on vacation, but definitely worn at home. This is a beautiful top. And while the dramatics of the long tail in the front wasn't exactly easy to find, I did find some great options. Haws, Express, and ASOS all are beautiful options to recreate this look. And this one from Bloomingdale's is just chef's kiss. And this one from Karen Millen has a little sparkle to it. All very good options to recreate this look. Finding a pair of white shorts right now are easy to find. You probably already have some in your closet if you're being honest with yourself. ASOS, Abercrombie, H&M, and Aritzia all have great options for some shorts. She has a cute little basket bag in a box shape in the background. And I feel like this one from Gucci that's orange would work very well with this top. And this from Saks All Fit is a much cheaper option, but would also give a similar and beautiful vibe. These beautiful statement earrings that are very much in style right now, a very 90s kind of statement earring. I've told you guys about this brand before, and I told you that they have these beautiful heart earrings, but they also have some other options that I think will work well with this look. And then if you don't want to wear a nice pair of brown sandals, these sandals that she has on are not easily found, but I did find a few very similar ones on Etsy. If not, throw on a pair of beige sandals or a pair of brown sandals, and you have a very similar vibe. I don't know why I'm talking so much about purple and lavender <laughs> in this video. Purple and lavender are not my colors, but for some reason, it's a purple and lavender video. This whole outfit is so good. I love that the pants are linen. This is a good vacation outfit for the city. It's gonna keep you cool, but you're gonna be covered up. These pants from Alice and Olivia on sale are a great option to recreate this look. Uniqlo and Forever 21 also has options, but at a much cheaper price. And then going back to our debt, we're not gonna find the exact shirt, but we're gonna find some great variations. Mara Hoffman, pretty little thing if you are in need of extended sizes. And this beautiful Simkai top from Saks Fifth Avenue that was originally over $300 is now on sale for like $140. This outfit, I believe, can be translated to the city or a beach vacation, just depending on your footwear, obviously. This dress from Zara, though it's not exactly the same, gives a very similar vibe. I have spoken a lot about this brand, and though they don't have a white purse in this size, they do have other white purse options. But if you want a bigger option, you could try this color. I feel like it will still work very well with this dress. And I don't know what shoe she has on, but depending on what you want to do, you could do some white sneakers, you could do some brown sandals, some white sandals. The options are many. So 
If you watch this video, you know that I was telling you about a pair of sunglasses that I got, or two pairs of sunglasses that I got from this woman owned and black woman owned business. And they came in, I wanted to show you really quickly. I got them in brown and in white, which I don't have next to me, I'm sure. There is a rotating picture of them, <laughs> a rotating video of them right now, but I got them in brown. She did have a bigger option, but I wanted a smaller pair of sunglasses um, that were a little more thin and a little more streamlined. And a very cool girl. <laughs> Check her out. I will put all her information below. She has no idea who I am. I just like the support. I've told you guys that many a times. If you want a bigger frame, that's an option she has as well. She has different colors. I just think that these are too good. Very fashion, very fashion week. You can choose between a tinted lens and a clear lens. But yeah, I wanted to show you when they came in. It didn't take as long as I thought. And look how they came. It's this beautiful box. And it says, if you dare is the name of the brand. When you open it, the glasses are in this little case. It, it was beautiful, beautiful presentation. I'm very happy with it. Anyway, friends, that is it. I know I am so late with this video. Hopefully you still have vacations to go on or maybe you can use it for further, for further vacations. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, girl, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and I will see you in my next video.